The Tour de France is in full swing and this first week has been a spectacular affair. There are riders from 30 different nationalities in this year's race. And to stop you from getting lost in the melee of all the different riders, we thought we'd try and highlight a few different riders and teams who you might like to support and you might like to will over that finish line in Paris. Right, to kick things off, there's only two countries from South America that are present in this year's Tour de France. And out of them, Colombia has the most riders, with 10 riders in this year's Tour, which is actually the sixth largest number of riders in the whole race from any nationality. Out of the Colombians, out of this absolute melee of cycling talent, we've decided to go for Sergio Higuita. Why? Well, Higuita is a Colombian national champ for one, and his national champ's kit is possibly the best thing we've ever seen since Cipollini in his muscle suit. Absolutely outrageously good national champ's kit by Higuita. And he's also in his first Tour de France and holding his own with courage, which we think deserves our applause and our support. So, if you want to get behind a Colombian, I shout Sergio Higuita. The only other South American country in the race is Ecuador, and they have only one rider as well, which is Richard Carapaz. He won the Giro d'Italia last year and is now riding for the Ineos Grenadiers. And we think just because he's the only Ecuadorian in the race, he's definitely got to deserve some support. Richard Carapaz, everyone. North America is pretty thin on the ground when it comes to riders this year, especially when you look at its landmass and population density. There's actually only five riders present at this year's tour from North America. And for this reason alone, we think any North American country deserves some love. So first up, the USA. I'm going to start with Sepp Kuss. We think he is going in the form of his life this year, and he's definitely going to be a brilliant super domestique for Primoz Roglic in the mountains. And he's already proven his worth in Roglic's challenge for the yellow jersey. So, USA, Sepp Kuss. Canada also has only one rider at the Tour this year, Hugo Huell, riding for Astana. And he's got over 10 years of experience racing as a professional, but he's never won a road race himself. And for this reason alone, he definitely deserves some support, not just for the fact that he's the sole Canadian at the race. Right, next up, one of my all-time favourite countries, and another country with only one rider in the race, Costa Rica. Andre Amador will be representing Costa Rica at this year's Tour, riding for Ineos Grenadiers, and he'll be Egan Bernal's key mountain helper when the road really starts turning uphill. He probably won't be going for results himself, more like a super domestique and key super domestique at that, because Amador is a classy rider and also a super nice guy at that. So, if you're looking for someone to support from Costa Rica, Andre Amador. On to Asia now, and seeing as Israel is part of the continent geographically, we thought we'd include them on the list here. And Guy Neve is going to be the first Israeli cyclist to ever ride the Tour de France, and hopefully make his way to Paris as the first Israeli to finish the Tour de France. And we think for this reason alone, he definitely deserves some support out on the route. Guy Neve from Israel. The only other Asian country that is taking part in this year's Tour de France is Kazakhstan, Alexei Lushenko who is riding for Astana, is also the Kazakh national champ, is hotly tipped to take a stage win in this year's Tour de France. So if you are looking for someone from Kazakhstan to support, Alexei Lushenko is your man. Right, on to Europe now, and this is the definite bulk of the Tour de France start list. So we'll try and narrow things down for you and find some riders and teams who you may like to support. Okay, we'll start with our pick of the Brits, Hugh Carthy. He's from Preston and he's had a very gradual rise through the pro ranks in recent years quickly building up an impressive Palmares. He finished just outside the top 10 at the Giro d'Italia last year in 11th place. With the likes of Froome, Thomas and the Yates brothers perhaps stealing the limelight from riders such as Hugh Carthy, we think this is a especially good reason to give Hugh a shout and definitely deserves some applause on his way to Paris. So Hugh Carthy, who knows, could he dip into the top 10? The Belgians do not have a lack of riders, that is for sure. But one rider who again maybe misses out in terms of the limelight is Ben Hermans, especially when compared to riders such as Philippe Gilbert, Benoit or Thomas de Ghent. Hermans broke his collarbone at the start of the year in Tour Down Under and also fractured a rib and scapula in the same crash. So he's had a long road back to recovery and to the start line of this year's Tour. And he may not be starting in the best shape, but I definitely think come the second or third week he starts to come into his own and really start to challenge for some results, maybe a stage win. So if you are looking for a Belgian to support, Ben Hermans has definitely got a good chance of success and is maybe flying under the radar a little bit more than other riders. And he's also got quality in the legs, with wins in Utah, Austria and Oman. So watch this space. For Belgium, Ben Hermans. 
Okay, right, I'm going to allow myself to be a bit biased right now because I am Irish and I'm going to cheer for my home country. So for Ireland, I reckon Sam Bennett and I want them all to do well, but I think Sam is on the form of his life and I really think he can challenge for stage wins and also maybe take the green jersey in Paris because I think Sagan can be beaten this year and I think Sam can challenge for it. So I think all the Irish, we need to get behind him. We need to be, we need to be cheering him on. So come on, Ireland, Sam Bennett. I'm donating a good section of this video to Ireland, so you... come on, come on the boys, come on! Wait. The Danish are another country with high numbers in this year's race with eight riders who took to the start line. And one rider who you'll probably see quite a lot of is Kasper Askren. He's riding for the Koenig Quick Step and he'll be supporting Julian Alaphilippe and also Sam Bennett in the sprints. So you'll probably see him a fair bit on the front, controlling the peloton and also winding things up for Sam when the bunch sprints do kick off. He's definitely going to be earning his paycheck round France this month. He's also Danish national champion and has, I think, the best national champions kit in the bunch. Okay, right, I did say that about the Colombians national champs kit, but you can have, you can have a few different favourites, can't you? Now, Casper has been second on a stage at the Tour before, so we think he deserves some support because it'd be great to see him go a step higher, even if he is racing in a domestic role for Alaphilippe and also Sam Bennett. So, Kasper Askreen of Denmark, if you're looking for a Danish rider to support. Now, the French have their fair share of riders in this year's tour, with 39 riders taking to the start of this year's race. Julien Alaphilippe is obviously the man of the moment for France, with a considerable amount of days in the yellow jersey already at this year's edition. But we think one French team that you should definitely give some love is B&B Hotel's Vitel Concept KTM. I think they're a kind of underdog team which we all need to get behind. They have been trying to get a wild card to the Tour de France for a while now and have finally succeeded in taking part in the Tour. Wouldn't it be epic to see them take a stage win in their first ever Tour de France? They also have the youngest rider in the race, Maxime Chevalier, 21 years old. So for those reasons, we really think B&B Hotels, Vitel Concept, KTM deserve all the support they can get. From the French, of course. Not from the Irish, I'll be cheering for Sam. For a population of 1.92 million, Latvia has some serious cycling talent. Tom Squinge is the national champion of Latvia and he's riding for Trek Segafredo. Definitely one to get behind and one who can definitely take a stage win in this year's tour. Another Latvian rider to shout for, Chris Nealens, who's riding for Israel Startup Nation. He's already taken one competitivity prize at this year's Tour de France. He can definitely take another and I think he can definitely take a stage win. Latvia, potato power to the max. Come on, you Latvians. For the Dutch, we really think it's a team that you've got to get behind. And Jumbo Visma is that team. This year, they have a serious chance of taking home the yellow jersey. Now, it may not be a Dutchman who takes the yellow jersey. It's probably going to be a Slovenian if they do take it in Primoz Roglic. But this is a really great chance for Jumbo Visma to take that yellow jersey and break Ineos' hold on the yellow jersey. They've won it for five years in a row. Could it be a Dutch team that wins the yellow jersey and takes it to the Champs-Élysées? It'd be great to see. So we think if you're Dutch, you've got to get behind Jumbo Visma in this year's tour. Give them all the support they've got. And let's see, will they make it to Paris with the yellow jersey? Moving on to the continent of Oceania now. And one Kiwi who we think definitely deserves some support is Sam Bewley. He survived lockdown in Girona in, well, how can I put this, rather an extraordinary way. A bit of Jif or Sif if you're in Spain. After all those shenanigans, he's made it to the tour. And we think this character from New Zealand deserves all the support he can get. He'll be riding in support of his teammates and Adam Yates, his team leader at Michelton Scott. And oh, he's going to do an amazing job. He's got a massive engine on him. But when the big mountains do start, he is going to need some shout outs. So you know what to do, folks. Let's support Sam Bewley all the way to Paris. Ryan Gibbons from Johannesburg in South Africa is one of only two riders from the entire African continent in the race, alongside Daryl Impey, who's also from South Africa, national champion actually of South Africa himself. Now, Ryan Gibbons will be competing in the sprint stages, and whilst he may be an underdog against the likes of Ewan, Sagan and Bennett, he's definitely a challenger and he could sneak in a cheeky result. And we at GCN love an underdog, so Ryan Gibbons is definitely one to get behind. He has got four Grand Tours under his belt already, but this will be his first Tour de France. And at 26 years old, could this be his time to notch up a really, really big result? If you're South African, give Ryan Gibbons a shout. So those are some of our picks at this year's Tour de France. 
especially some of those underdog riders. I think they definitely deserve our support on their way to Paris. But we have missed many, and I think everyone in this brutal race deserves our support. So if I have missed anyone who you think deserves a big shout out on their way to Paris, please let us know in the comment section below. Everyone deserves some love at this race. We've got to cheer those riders on because it's impressive what they do. Now, if you do want to catch the action at this year's Tour de France, don't forget you can find it on the GCN app with GCN Race Pass. Geo restrictions do apply. And as I say this right now, I'm off to watch the finish of today's stage. I think it's a sprint and crossing my fingers for Ireland. So, right. See you, everyone. <laughs>